Hey everybody, welcome back to Bay Singers Disc Golf Channel. Josh here, and this is a mic'd up round at Steel Creek Park Disc Golf Course in Bristol, Tennessee. I'm on the back nine holes, uh, which is actually a complete different area than the front nine. The front nine's already up, so make sure you go back and check that out. This back nine, is, like I said, you actually have to drive to a different parking lot to get here to it, so it's completely different. It's not open. It's really wooded, as you can see. I'm pretty sure this back nine was designed by Satan himself. So, uh, just gonna do this nine hole, and uh, we're on hole 10, so thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help point disc golf in your area. So hole 10 here is, I don't know if Amanda can zoom over here and show you. It's 153 feet, pretty much straight to the left. As I said, this course was designed by Satan. So I'm just gonna be throwing my P-walk on a lot of angles, see if I can get it to turn, 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 and get over there for a putt, basically. All right, you ready? So, that might be okay, we'll find out. All right, all right, so, I got a putt for the two. Let's see what happens. A little straight to his shot, soft floater in the chains. Or roll down into the creek. Well, it's horrible. All right, as you can see, you do not want to get off the fairway on this course. Oh, I cannot believe I made that. That was rough. Not the easiest of locations here, but saved the three, so if you counting by the front nine, then I'm one down through 10 holes. Okay, so hole 11 here, uh, 169 feet. As you can see, there's it's like a great little shot for a righty, but I'm a lefty. I don't feel that comfortable with the flick, but I'm gonna try and actually flick through this short little gap right here with a little bit of turn and see what happens with my coat to cool. A little turn, hopefully fade back towards the basket. Just threw that way too low, but I think it's put. All right, so. I did land a little closer than I thought. Should get the two. <laughs> wow. So, well, consistency. All right, so that's a three. That's a good point to make is give every shot the uh, respect it deserves. I counted it before I made it. Missed it, so that's a part. Okay, so uh, hole number 12 at Satan's Disc Golf Course is that, <laughs> as you can see. Um, 134 feet, literally nothing. There's a tiny little gap, I guess that's the gap right through there. I'm gonna be flicking my Kotaku once again. Just try and push through everything, see what happens. Hmm. You know what I should have done? I should have aced it with my Ruru. You know what I should have done? I should have aced it with my Magma Soft Kia. You know what I should have done? Went to a different <coughs> course. Got a putt here from about 40 feet. Anheuser putt. Oh, about fell. That's not too bad. All right. Tap ramp for the three. All right. 
Both our chains up here. <sighs> All right. I'm tired, y'all. I'm not even joking right now. So this is hole 13. It's uh, very hot out here. Uh, hole 13 is 134 feet. As you can tell, the name of this back nine is just putter or mid-range. Depending on the distance you're most comfortable with, I'm most comfortable with the mid-range. Going to the P-Walk, try and get it to just turn but not turn and burn, so I'm going with my cosmic peat walk. So, see what happens. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? It was like half a foot away from Asin. Like, no lie. That was really close. Should be a tap in for two. All right. Tap in for two. Just a few inches. That would have been it. Let's go two hole 14. <laughs> we are on hole 14 and it's uh, huh, 159 feet through that. As you can see, I'm going Magma Soft Kia and uh, Put a little hyzer on it, try and not hit anything. Huh, I hit something. Okay, so my putt on 14. Some limbs and trees all up in the way, so let's go putt and hope. Close. We gotta tap that in while she's recording. Tap it in for the three. Two down through uh, 14 times. Let's go to 15. Okay, okay, we are on hole 15 here. I am two down through 14 holes. Wide open. No, it's not. It's uh, 135 feet. Basket appears to be up and to the right. Throw in hope and hope some more. All right, here we go. Strata Kotaku. Just try and get up the hill. No clue if that's good or bad. If you had seen the hill we just climbed, hole, four, 15, hole 15 here, uh, apparently I almost aced it, so I guess it was good. You just kind of hang out over here with the snakes, hit your two putt with the birdie back. Thanks, Steve Frank. So three down through 15 holes. Let's go to hole 16. All right, so hole 16, as you can see, there's an actual hole here. Um, I like this one. It's, I mean, there's a line. It's a little lefty hole, 186 feet. Should be throwing a putter, but kind of want to go with my Kotaku just because it's been money today. Um, there's rocks right behind it, so you can definitely push along past it and be aggressive because it should sit down. So. Going Strata Kotaku, because it'll push forward a little further than the Atomic one will. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. That was weak. All right, so I was telling Amanda, it's funny how you come to like little short holes like this, and you throw them short because you try and lay it off of it, and then you end up leaving yourself a putt like this. So let's just... Be aggressive because there's rocks behind it. That's horrible. But sit down behind it. You got it? You see that? That's crazy how this 
Kia landed that I threw just for fun. <laughs> Weird footing central over here, so I'm gonna do a first time ever patent pending putt. Nice. Three. Three down through 16 holes. All right, hole 17 here, uh, 150 feet. It's probably actually my new favorite hole because it's like a little shot shaping thing. Great for a little lefty. Turn over something understable that'll flex back. I'm going with my Magnusoft Kia. Or just hit that tree. Rather unfortunate stance here, but going, same thing I went off the tee, just throw my Kia up there towards the basket. Underneath it, four or three. All right, so hole 17, let's tap it in for the three. All right, three down through 17 holes. Horrible, horrible score for this course. Okay, final hole on the course is hole 18. <laughs> it usually is uh, nine times out of 10. 11 times out of 10, 18 is the last hole on the course. Uh, it's 170 feet, just keeping up with the normal. This one's pretty open, honestly. You got a little gap to hit. For me, I'm going left of that little tree in the middle, hopefully. Stratocotaku again, it'll push forward a little bit further than my atomic. See if we can get up there for a putt. And I went right of the tree. That's okay, because I think I parked it. All right, my putt on hole 18. Went a little bit long. Funny thing is, I told Amanda, I was talking about throwing the white Kotaku, because it would push straight further. Had to throw my pink Kotaku on that same line. Probably would have aced it, because it would have faded a little bit earlier. But, oh well. That makes four down through 18 holes. As I said, make sure you check out the front nine, which is a completely different course. It's open and uh, some of the holes are longer. Uh, this one's very short and very wooded. So. Um, it's like a, a tail of two nines, honestly. Uh, front nine's really fun. The back nine, uh, stay tuned for the next course <laughs> that I film. <laughs> yeah, I pause. The back nine's not my favorite course, I'll say. Uh, as I said in the intro, I'm pretty sure Satan himself designed it. Um, I'm sure if you're a local, you come here and play this course, you know the lines a little bit better. It'd be a fun course in that situation, but just coming here, this is the second time I've ever played this little back nine, and uh, the leaf just landed on my head. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna stop it here, so thanks for watching. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area and check out some RPM discs. They're cool. I love them. Thanks for watching.